A thousand dollars it costs to build a console, guys. You know what I'm saying? What is up? What is up? What is up? Mousetrap gang, man. Good morning. It is, I think, like 9 o'clock in the morning right now on this beautiful Friday, man. We are in the backyard of the trap house, man. Hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys have been enjoying all the videos of the console build, man. But today, we are actually going to discuss a few things before we go in here further with the build because I've been getting DMs, um, comments, and a few DMs from TikTok um, that I've been posting the console up. And I want to go ahead and answer some questions for you guys. Or just you know um, give you guys a little bit of info you know food for thought so you guys can know um, a little bit of info if you are a builder of a fiberglass console if you would like to build a fiberglass console or if you would like to get a console built in your vehicle man but before all that man hit that subscribe button man because we're dropping nothing but hits um, good car audio content for you guys man I'm trying to do my best to get you guys some good footage um, man, it, it's all the way around. It's a good channel. And don't forget tomorrow, man, we are attending Dunk Day here in Dover, Florida, which is probably like 45 minutes away from where I'm at. And you already know, in the state of Florida, man, we got... It's gonna, it's gonna be a political thing, but we got some bad rides here in Florida, man. The state of Florida, man, we do it, man. I, Texas is getting it right now. Um, Atlanta's getting it right now. Chicago, Cali, everybody, man. But listen, man. Florida's different. I'm just gonna leave it at that. But with that being said, man, let's get into today's video. If you guys have been following the video, man, we actually are building a console for my friend's uh, OBS uh, GMC truck. It's extended cab. Uh, we built some door panels in it. We put four 12s in it that are banging really hard. Um, they had a few issues on the truck going on right now because he swapped out a, a base amp. And we're gonna just go ahead and make sure we check it. So once the, the truck leaves from us, man, it is banging. And he can pull up and jam everywhere he goes, man, because it is very important that the Mousetrap Gang, man, builds nothing but hits. You see what I'm saying? So we're gonna make sure my boy leaves 1,000%. Not 100, but 1,000% out from here from the driveway. To build, we are actually building um, a center console for his truck with mids and highs. And if you guys remember, he had a smaller console um, in it with that house, uh, two sixes, two horns, um, it had the LED voltmeter, and then it had the EQ. Um, but he said he wanted a little bit more voice out of the truck, and here we are today doing that for him, man. We make dreams come true. If you have a vision, man, we try our best to bring it to life here at this channel. A lot of the questions I've been getting lately um, is how much does a console like this cost? Um, both ways, if you're building it, um, what it takes to build one, the best products for it, um, and we're gonna get in all that today, man. So if before anything We get this video started. I want you guys to drop in the comments and let me know How much do you think it costs to be to this point right here right before we fix in the fiberglass? Like wh what do you how much do you guys think is sitting right here money wise? You know what I'm saying because um, you know prices went up on so much stuff S Products that I was buying say in January right now that we are in July has gone up drastically and then add a few bucks because of gas um, that you have to fill up your tank in your car vehicle to get to go pick up those products so you got to add that on as well because nowadays man you know stuff went up very high um, it's just the way how life shifted 
Um, hopefully it gets better soon, but for right now, um, you know, prices did go up drastically. Are they going to stay up? I have no idea. I don't control that. Will they go down? Yes, eventually yes. But when? I don't know. We'll, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully that day comes soon. But for right now, man, it costs to be the boss. I'm just going to say it like that. Even if prices were low, it still costs to be at this level of um, that you're trying to be at. Luckily, you know, if you are a car audio builder, um, you don't have to pay labor prices, which is one thing. But at the same time, it, the, the material still costs. Don't get that twisted. Material still costs. And if you want good materials, it's going to cost you a pretty buck. We have MDF wood that we have going on. We have fleece that we got from Walmart. We got Gorilla Glue, um, hot glue sticks. We have our grinding disc. Uh, we're not even going to include this in here because this is not fiberglass related. Um, we got fiberglass mat. Um, this is just a quick trial thing that I did right now um, just to see how good the fiberglass and how good it reacted to it. Um, and that thing is like solid. It's like uh, um, crystally because I've actually put a little bit more harder than what I was supposed to because I just want to see how solid it would get and listen guys like that thing is solid okay and here we actually have a mixture this is Duraglass and a difference I forgot the actual name of the bondo but it's a mixture of it together it's white and green as you can see right there um, this is my dad's you know magic uh, mix that he uses at his job and all the stuff that we get chemically related um, that we use for our installs, man, they come from Yellowfin directly. If you don't know what Yellowfin is, Yellowfin is the Lamborghini line of boats. You see what I'm trying to say? Like, yes, they do have Lamborghini boats, but listen, Yellowfin is high-end boats. Used with the best products for their, their million-dollar boats. You know what I'm saying? And the same products that they use for their, their boats to last so long... We use the same products on our car audio pieces that we build. You see what I'm saying? Like I said, this is my dad's custom mix um, with some light body filler and Duraglass. And like, this is like, I use this all the time on all the panels that I use. And it is like the best thing. Of course, we got our cream hardener, which makes that react and get it hard. We have our measuring cup for our hardener for whenever we use our resin. Um, I do have the hardener over there. We got to dump it in here. But now what I did this trial, I know exactly how much to put um, measuring cup wise so we know that we have a good mix and it gives us time to use that um, so it doesn't harden up on us and give us any problems. You know, because nowadays, man, it's so hot outside um, that fiberglass is going to react like instant. You see what I'm saying? And we need time to lay it, um, spread it, and then come back and lay the fiberglass mat, which is this, on it. You know what I'm saying? And... The last thing that you want to do is waste product. You see what I'm saying? And we're doing this little trial thing right here, experiment. We know exactly how much to use on this guy. So when we use it with this guy, um, we, we have plenty of time to work with it. And um, it is laid on there really good. Um, and this is, this is the heart of the whole project. This is the fiberglass resin. This resin right here, let me see if we can open it real quick. For you guys so you guys can see it better oh it's okay my dad always does this right here let's see oh look at that that is the best fiberglass resin mix that you can get so same thing with this <clears throat> my dad you know they sell like they make boosters they make um reactors and all this stuff extra liquids so my dad actually you know dumps resin he you know pumps the resin into this gallon then you know he measures out his, his cups of boosters so when we get to the point where we're pouring out our resin and we're going to use our um, MEKP to harden it up um, the the ingredients that he puts in this guy once this touches it man it is like you know the best product in the world um, and it's going to give us the strongest outcome that we actually need um, I mean, like I said, the, this resin is the type of resin that they use on those boats. And those boats stay fabulous, like, forever. And, you know, that's the same thing with this. If we were to actually go the extra mile and paint this console, it'll never crack. On my Trailblazer outside, guys, the well, everything that's fiberglass painted, uh, it's the same product that we use. And even till this day, I've yet to see that thing crack. Where I've seen, in other occasions, people build fiberglass um, panels, wall panels, door panels, etc., etc. 
a few you know like a month or two in this hot sun especially in florida hot sun that thing is going to crack and you see like it expands on the inside and it just creates like a spider crack and if your preparations of paint ain't right uh man that thing is going to crack and like it's it's bad news because then it takes a lot more to repair it on all my panels in my truck um it's all had all these products along with the gel coat paint that yellowfin uses on their boats we use those on our panels and those things are like made to you know outlast this heat you see what i'm saying like this paint and uh, fiberglass material is made to be in the sun they probably like experiment this stuff so much so it's the best product that they can put on their boats so they can charge what they charge you know prices on those boats and you know the gel coat paint like it can stand in the sun forever you see what i'm saying and it's never going to crack it's the resin's never going to crack underneath and that's what you want you don't want to use no other stuff that you know eventually one day you may have an issue I'm not saying that stuff is not going to chip or you know break if it's treated in a bad manner but upholding in the sun that stuff is never going to mess up if you do it right got our resin now we have some real awesome acetone right here um, acetone is a big factor because if you get resin on your hands you know you go just go ahead and clean it with some acetone um, your tools you want to clean them with some acetone um, brushes you know you can put a little cup with acetone in it and put the brush in there and it's going to dissolve the resin on there and then you still got a functioning brush if you want to continue using it i don't necessarily do that but i know some people that do um, and it's a good thing to have and like i said after we you know uh, fiberglass resin our console we actually give the console a bath in acetone so like this like all this like three quarters of a gallon of acetone it is going to be used because we still got to give it our bath because um we don't want the gunk um particles from the fiberglass to gum up our grinding disc because we want the grinding disc to work for a good little minute you see what i'm saying and that's how you don't waste product so you still have good product and you know maintaining maintaining um your you know tools that you're using um to last you through the whole project because it's not a, it's, it seems like a big panel but in reality it's not um good thing there's like big uh surfaces and not little small ones so it, it's good you can most definitely go to like home depot walmart and buy like resin acetone bondo and everything but it's never going to be the same as this product right here you know and good products they're worth it when you're you know when you're building something for somebody that goes to shows and trying to show out it is good because you can they'll with their eyes they see that the product lasts as long so whenever they someone asks them like oh who did it or blah 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 and they go ahead and tell them um, they're going to speak nothing but good words about you to them you see what i'm saying so always try to use the best products as possible okay, so now let's go ahead and add up a few numbers so you guys can be familiar of what's going on with this stuff this console took two sheets to to build the console with because we remember we still got side panels uh rings and we're doing outer rings and little extra uh gadgets here on the side so we're gonna say the the wood cost us 70 bucks so 70 bucks times two that's 140 just in wood right off the bat just 140 right off the bat resin which is this guy right here we're gonna say it cost us another $80 a gallon so now we're at um, 140 plus the 80 on the resin so we're at 220 acetone 50 bucks you know it's awesome acetone so now we're at 270 okay now this mix right here man that right there guys it is another 50 bucks I'm not even gonna lie to you you know so now we're at 320 just with this stuff now you know brushes is gonna be what like another like two dollars so now we got brushes for another two bucks fiberglass mat we'll say um 15 bucks okay now we're at 337 dollars you see what i'm saying that's just in parts that's just in parts you know sitting just right here now let's include the 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 fleece the fleece cost us another we'll say 10 bucks now we're at 345 you see what i'm saying so now let's do uh, um the the glue you know it's another like five bucks 
So we're at 350 right now, as you see right now, with no, no labor right now, no labor, no labor at all, no labor at all. It literally took us each day to do something. And you know, um, if you're good at your job, you know, you can charge pretty much a hundred dollars a day because look, so this is our, our project that we got going on. And this is another project right here that somebody else has going on that I'm going to try to salvage and use. But look, like you see, and this is what I was talking about yesterday, guys. Um, you see the difference, how these people will just like lay their fleece over the ring versus, you know, we got ours, you know, stapled on here. And I mean, look at the, the jagged cuts. You see what I'm saying? Let's see what can... You see what I'm saying? Like this right here, door panel, so I'm gonna charge like 50 bucks probably to do versus, you know, although mine's not neat like that, but you know, it's, 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 I mean, you, you can see the difference. You see what I'm saying? Um, so you could charge pretty much a hundred dollars a day to work on a panel like this guys um don't be scared to charge because your work if you know you do a good work man don't be scared to charge because it's 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 crazy out here i'm just gonna say it like that man so don't be scared to charge um if someone doesn't want to pay your price somebody else will you know never sell your short, yourself short now it's a it's a person that's always been doing business with you it's okay to cut a few breaks because they're returning customers and if they bring you more customers man hook them up you see what i'm saying sometimes you gotta bite the bullet um just to get your name out there but don't bite your bullet for free you see what i'm saying bite the bullet for someone that you know that is really going to these places showing off your work bringing you other people to come get stuff if other people just come get it just because they feel that you do it at your house and you're gonna do it cheap don't even don't even mess around with those people at all you know what i'm saying i'm just gonna be real with you um it's it's good to you know hook people up but don't you know don't be someone's sucker basically right here up to this point now we're gonna add plus a hundred dollars a day and it's been three days three hundred dollars that's 650 just right here just up to the point working to where it's at right here that's just 650 bucks 650 bucks you still gotta sand you still have to wrap in vinyl you have to know how to wrap the vinyl you still have to make this and that and so overall like a whole console just to build it after all said and done you can charge a thousand dollars guys a thousand dollars because it takes this your people are pretty much paying for your knowledge and your skill not the actual product because you could go buy the same stuff that we got going on right here and you can make a complete nightmare we can all be given the same products uh materials and everything but it's not gonna be the same thing at the end of the day guys so you know if you know what you're doing man you know charge because it's 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 all the same 24 hours that we got. Everybody has gets a chance to learn stuff. Some people learn stuff a little bit better. Some people learn stuff things a little bit better along the way as they're doing stuff. Or some people just stay doing the same thing forever. Like I know installers around here that started doing installs as I was young in my younger days. And they're still doing the same things. You see what I'm saying? Still on the same stuff. And they never progress. And you figure a person... Of that you know high into it they would have progressed in their installs and their cleanliness along the way um, people that I've known that have been working you know in the, their shops man their shops are still a freaking mess there's stuff everywhere um, you can never get stuff done so how would I feel good walking into someone's garage telling me like oh I'm gonna charge you a thousand dollars but it's a complete disaster everywhere you see what I'm saying no clean floors nothing good to show um, nasty versus if you're going somewhere clean and they have clean you know displays looks good and everything you're gonna feel comfortable paying those a thousand dollars but other than that man don't don't fall in for people's stuff all right so that's pretty much it man so a thousand dollars it costs to build a console guys you know what I'm saying not necessarily saying that i charge my boy a thousand dollars to build a console but that's what it can come out to you know don't be scared to charge if you're using badass products um just right here as we're sitting um, $350 plus the labor, $100 a day. That's $650 bucks right here as we're standing, not proceeding nowhere. That's just all the work that we've done in all the videos up to right now, man. So, you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think. Subscribe to the channel for plenty of good videos like this. 
Um, it is Friday. I'm going to cut some hair, but I wanted to get you guys a quick little video and answer a few questions. Um, I know I haven't been doing the shout outs, but I've been trying to work on this. My daughter actually left yesterday or this morning to Texas, so I actually wanted to spend some time with her yesterday. Um, so I just tried to do as much as I could and you know, I, I spent some time with her. I hope she has a, sun, a fun, safe trip back home. She lives in Houston, Texas, and I know she's going to have fun as soon as she gets home and just lay in her bed. And that's what it's all about. But I told her, man, you got a year and you're going to come move back over here because we're going to turn up the channel and I want her to be a part of it. So with that being said, man, I hope you guys have a good Friday. Man, I expect tomorrow's videos to be awesome. Catch you guys tomorrow, man. Dunk days tomorrow. Wait for those videos. They're going to be the truth. Um, any car audio questions, hit me up uh, in the comments or DM me, Mouse6Trap, on my Instagram, Mousetrap gang, mouse trap underscore gang for our YouTube page. Uh, man, and we got so much stuff going on, man. But for that, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. And have a good Friday night, man. Stay safe. Peace.